Hey, welcome to another episode of The Hive. My name is Florante. And I am Joel. So I hope most of you had somewhat a long Memorial Day weekend. How was yours? I did have a very, very long weekend. You know, I took Thursday and Friday off, went on vacation, remember? I just feel very refreshed, ready to go. Let's go. I'm happy for you, man. Well, my weekend was pretty short. I had to do some adulting, and I appreciate you reminding me that I was in the office by myself on oh, Thursday and Friday. Sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to rub it in, you know. You actually just, you look hungry. Maybe you're, you're hangry right now. You know, you're not you when you're hungry. Grab one of these, put it in your stomach. I'll take over for now. <laughs> hey, folks. Uh, today's episode, we got a fantastic product from our friends at Smart AVI. It is called the Extreme Wall. Now, this unit is a multi format video wall controller. Controller. Yeah. What was that? It's a video wall controller. <laughs> no, that little move you're doing looked like you had a snicker <laughs> stuck up your doodle. Man, you, you haven't even opened it. You're still hungry. That's why you're not feeling it. Eat it you'll see what all the kids are doing these days. What's a video wall controller anyways? I mean, I'm so glad you asked, Flo. Been waiting all weekend. See, you, you sound a little lively too. <laughs> a video wall controller is an effective way to you know, build a creative configured video wall. A video wall is a multi-monitor setup to form one large display. All right, sounds interesting. Why don't we plug her in and see how she works? Let's do it and eat that. Okay, for this install, make sure all devices are powered off. Now we're gonna start off with our first source, which is the Xbox. Xbox is using an HDMI cable. It's gonna go into the HDMI input. We have two other sources. One has a DVI connection that goes over here. The second laptop has a display port. So this video wall controller can take up to three inputs. Next. We're gonna go and connect our four displays to the HDMI output. We actually labeled the cables for the displays. That way we don't get confused. Let's go ahead and plug them all in to the HDMI outputs. All right, as you can see, there's an HDMI out over here. This is a local loop out. This is optional. That way you know which source is showing up on your video wall. So let's go ahead and connect this cable. You also have a few options for control. You've got RS-232, IR, and your LAN port. Besides that, you also have the front panel for control. Lastly, let's go ahead and connect our power. Okay, so we have all our components connected. Those two laptops are two of the sources, also an Xbox. As you can see, all our displays are on. All we need to do is power up this video wall controller. Okay, we're also gonna power up our HDMI source, which is the Xbox. Give it some time to initialize. These laptops are on. This is our DVI source. We've got our DisplayPort source over here. And what you should see is the Xbox as our main video wall and also showing on our optional display, our loop out display is the Xbox. So we just finished installing the extreme wall. Fairly simple. Flo, how's the video wall looking? Extremely cool if you ask me. Honestly, I feel like I'm in a real game. If you just gave me a burger and beer, I'd be set. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that. Uh, this is actually the perfect solution for sports bar applications, you mm -hmm. know, with sporting events and the NBA finals, per okay. se, you know, coming around the corner. That's what me and my friends uh, look for in a sports bar, that they have a large enough display to accommodate everyone watching it inside. Yeah, that makes sense, especially for bars that get crowded. It's hard to see the game from one single TV, but if you have a video wall, it's a perfect solution. Mm -hmm. So this unit can take multi-format inputs. Along with the HDMI, it can do DVI and DisplayPort inputs, as well as switch all of those inputs just like a switcher. Cool. Why don't we uh, switch over to this laptop right here, which is using our DVI input. Mm -hmm. Take some time. Oh, now I know where you got your silly dance moves from. I mean, he got it from me. Yeah, he did. He probably yeah. called you on yeah, your look. cell phone, right? Made your hotline bling. You know, that could only mean one thing, Joe. 
They were you just singing there? <laughs> I think you're, I don't know what you're insinuating, Flo, but you know this unit is also good for entertainment venues. Say you're at a Drizzy Drake concert. Yeah, you would. I'd take you with me. <laughs> I know you'd go. <laughs> but you know, say you're standing, standing in line uh, waiting for the bathroom or concession stands, you don't have to worry about missing any part of the show, not with these humongous video walls placed all around the venue. I know we have one more setup, which is the MacBook connected to the controller via DisplayPort. I'm gonna switch over so we can take a look. Oh, I like it also. <laughs> oh man. This is yet another perfect example of how to use a video wall. Perfect for retail stores, malls, and restaurants. Say you have a lot of traffic, you only have a few seconds to speak to those people. What better way than a huge video wall, nice crisp messaging. Video walls can grab the attention of people on a large scale, which in the end will help your business grow and will increase brand awareness. This is definitely speaking to me. It's telling me <laughs> things like savory and juicy and it's telling me how melted this cheese is and how that oil hey, is hey, just hey, drizzling. Hey, you, you, you're getting me hungry now. <laughs> this video wall is working really well. Okay. I think we need a cut short. Okay, <laughs> I agree. Let's get some lunch. Yeah. I am Joel. My name is Florante. Thanks for joining us on The Hive. We will see you next time. Let's get some burgers. Right Let's now. go. Yeah. Hey, you got a dollar? <laughs>